Hello, um, we're going to do something uh, a bit different. I know we've done tutorials before on little bits and bobs, um, but we are, well, I am, and then you can uh, copy in or change in any kind of way you would like. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a game in a very short amount of time. So hopefully, like, um, in this whole video, so no more than let's say 10 minutes um, if we can it's probably all gonna come crumbling down around me so see if we can make a game another 10 minutes very very basic obviously um, but let's see where we can go with it so I've already drawn out the plan this isn't me just plucking this um, out of the air um, but I've I've kind of written I've got that like pad here where I've kind of written the, the, the what I think will work script wise um, if it does yay if it doesn't um, I failed you all and I apologize so um, let us start with this okay what are we gonna do what are we gonna do nerve-wracking now that I've set myself this task okay so let's create a, um, a sphere cool okay, let's put that down there so I can already see my game view here and add a Cube, cool, lovely. So um, we will create with our cube. We can add a rigid body. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll have our um, cube coming down, cubes coming down, raining down, and our sphere. We'll put a movement script on our sphere to dodge all of the cubes and if we get hit by a cube we're dead done that's the really really quick game so that's what we're going to do so um so what i'm going to do is drag my cube into uh, my assets which will create it as a prefab and then i'm just going to delete it cool so uh let's go and create a script for our movement so let's say call this movement and uh, this will be for our sphere. So we can click on sphere, go to add component, and write movement. Uh, please come up, there you are, done. Cool, so add the that script already. Hopefully Visual Studio won't take a lifetime to open. I'm not gonna edit this video in any way, shape, or form, so there will be no magical tricks involved. It will just be simply my reliability on my computer to load up. And obviously it's taken forever, so probably that 10 minutes is probably gonna fly out of the window right now of trying to make a game in 10 minutes. Maybe I should have opened up Visual Studio before. I don't know, this is a brand new project. We'll see what happens. Um, so what the idea is, is that we're gonna create a game in 10 minutes and the sphere is going to move and um, dodge the block as you can see I named it dodge block and we're going to um, dodge the blocks if you get hit by the block we are done and dead so and that's a really really quick game um, so what I really want you to do with this is take this and fly over it maybe you can add a timer maybe you can add damage maybe you can add lives maybe you could add whatever um, and add all different elements to it it'd be really really cool um, if you could continue this on and um, if you like me that much uh, share it on the comments and stuff and um, send me bits that you've done that would be really really awesome as well to see all different kind of things that you've made from this really really kind of simple game wicked lovely movement has finally opened there we go and what we're going to do is go to update and we can do transition uh, transform dots position and we'll do uh, plus nope plus equals a new vector three and we can call up input and dots get axes and all we're going to do is move the sphere so we can call up horizontal. Let's make sure we spell that correctly. We have then um, we can do zero on the Y and zero on the Z and semicolon. Then we need to figure out, figure out our def. So we need to go uh, void. Hopefully on collision. Enter. There it is. Um, let's yeah, that should work fine. 
and we'll just say destroy game object. Okay, so that's that. Let's save that very, very quickly and make sure Unity reads it. Oh, it doesn't like my code. It'll be fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. And there we go, we're moving. That's good. Let's hope that destroy works when we do our next part. So what we need to do is create another script. And this is the one I'm really worried about. Let's name this spawner, because this will spawn our cubes raining down on our sphere that we have to dodge. So call that spawner, cool. Um, do, 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 do. So what did I write down here? Um, Okay, I created two variables. The first one was a public float, and um, I called that delay because there will be a, a brief delay, uh, 0.2, let's say, before the blocks come raining down and killing the cube. So it gives us a bit of a chance as just before we play the game, and then public uh, game object, which will then obviously be our cube. Um, do, 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 do. Then let's go into doing to update or start a start to invoke. Please pop up invoke repeating here. Yeah, it has lovely. And let's type in. Um, we're gonna have to do a thing for spawn, aren't we? So we can create that as a private method. Uh, do, 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 do. So spawn. Then we can say. Um, oh yeah. So then delay and. Uh, do, do, do delay that should be okay let me think mm, yep I'm just gonna assume that's okay then we will create a method for our void and the spawn do 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 lovely um, and right and spawn it that will instantiate um, our lovely cube uh, not delay cube, please cube 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 instantiate our cube, um, and that will be a new vector three, um, and then they're going to be randomly falling down. So the random dot range, cool. Memory serving me well at the moment, and then we can do minus six six. So that's our range, and then out of that we can do um, ten at a time. And then just say zero, and then we can do because um, we can't do rotation, we'll have to do quaternion. I can never spell that. Dot identity. Cool. Okay, save that. And what we can do is, please Unity, don't go crazy. Cool. Um, and then on the main camera, we are going to add our spawner. Delay is good. Let's add our cube. Cool. Let's see if our game is working. That looks like, hopefully, that's under 10 minutes. And there we go. There's the cubes falling. And hey, I've died. There we go. <clears throat> so that works. So we can unplay that, play that again. And this is the mini game we've made in under 10 minutes, I hope. And look at that. Look at that. Dot all those cubes. Dodge the cube. Oh, I died. There we go. So there we go. Um, take this game, make this game, make it beautiful and fruity and show me what you've done with it. Okay, thank you very much. See you later.